Hi, and welcome to the Tune Crew. I'm standing in front of what used to be the rail yard in downtown Red Deer. Well, it's moved out of town now, and we're going to go see what goes on out there. Even though the trains no longer pass through Red Deer, there's lots of action in the CP rail yards west of town. Trains going north and south pass through here, often stopping long enough to change crews and pick up some cars. So where is this train heading? Well, this train here is switching right now. He's, he's going to go on our branch line on the Lacombe sub. And he's uh, grabbing a, a buffer, and he'll be going back into our, our yard to get LPG empty tanks. When you think of trains, probably the first thing that comes to mind is the engines. They're powerful, loud, and huge. Today, we've seen two different types. Well, the four driving axles are 2,000 horsepower, and they go on our branch line, so you can, uh, a certain type of track can only handle that type of weight. And then you got your six driving axles, they're 3,000 horsepower for more of our main lines. In the engine, a crew of three keeps the train on its way. The engineer controls the movement of the train with the throttles, and when the train needs to change tracks, the train person moves the switch. Keeping in touch with the dispatcher keeps the brake person pretty busy. While at one time the brake person rode in the caboose, you could say that's all history now. Where I'm standing is at the end of the train, and at one time there would have been a caboose right here, but it's been replaced by this. What we have here is an end of train unit, and it relays information up to the crew in the front of the train so that they know what's going on with the brake pressure and many other things. This train's all loaded up, it's heading on out. We've got to hit the rails ourselves. So long.